welcome to the land of beauty and incredible contrast. Corbett Tiger Reserve is located in the rugged Himalayan foothills in the districts of Almora, Nanital and Bodhigarbhal of Uttarakhand State, India. It was established in the year 1936 as Haley National Park to protect the endangered Bengal tiger. Corbett Tiger Reserve has 110 species of trees, 51 species of shrubs and over 33 species of bamboo and grass. This unique paradise is spread over 1288.32 square kilometers. It is India's oldest and richest treasure trove of the wild. There are no boundaries and borders. There is a luminous, spacious energy which flows and there is no distance between this essence and us. It fosters friendship between man and the wild. Various species of parakeets are found in jungle like Alexandrine parakeet, rose-ringed parakeet, plum-headed parakeet and red-breasted parakeet. Parakeets take to holes in the trunk of trees to nest their eggs. This brightly colored bird is very intelligent and remains very alert from predators such as snakes. It's very prolific in breeding. Presence of otters in the Ram Ganga River clearly signifies that this river is free from pollution. They are shy and have elusive habits. Ram Ganga River is the home of descendants of the prehistoric reptiles such as the Ghadial and the Magar. Jim Corbett is one of the richest bird regions of India, housing almost 600 species. These include both local as well as exotic migratory birds. The fishing kingfisher with its bright plumage is a visual delight. It is one of the most common sightings. It swoops down from perch to prey. Some of the birds found in the forest are green bee eater, miniweds, black crested bulbul, babblers, doves, barbets, 17 kinds of woodpecker. The commonly seen raptors in Corbett are the osprey, crested serpent eagle, black-shouldered kite, Shikra, Palace Fishing Eagle. And Hawk Eagle. These birds of prey hunt for food primarily on the wing. Most of the water birds are migrants and arrive in the winters. They begin arriving from early November until December and return by the spring. Some of these are the grey leg and bar-headed goose, ducks of many kinds, great crested grebe, snipe, sandpiper, plover, gull and wagtail. Some of the residents are darters, egrets, herons and cormorants. India's national bird, peacock rightly occupies that spot. The elaborate and showy male fans out its iridescent blue and green plumage to attract the peahens. The vultures commonly found are the Indian white-backed, Himalayan long-built and the Asian king vulture, also called red-headed vulture. These endangered species find a safe heaven in Corbett.
Kalish Fasans, Jungle Babbler and Great Ranklin scratching and foraging around for food like insects in the ground. Birds and bees can be seen collecting nectar from brightly colored flowers. There is a variety of species of wasps too, such as the paper wasp. A frog if is dropping on frog call. These frog ripples get created when frog calls occur. But they create multi-sensory messages which can be exploited both by rivals and predators. The nocturnal birds are the night jars, thickney, owls and owlets. Dawn and dusk are the best times of the day to spot owls in the deep dense woods. A moonlit night is also a good time for owling various species of this bird. The brown fish owl is an earlier resident of mainly the lowlands. While Indian boar unearths the roots and bulbs from the ground with its hard snout, Indian boar is an omnivore with 90% of its diet being plants. The langus and the rhesus monkeys are well distributed throughout the park. These primates noisily troop around masquerading the lush greens in the large social groups. They usually inhabit and swing around on trees where they easily find leaves and fruits to eat. The food dropped by them is consumed by the deers and wild boars grazing on the ground. A pack of jackals meandering in their territory in the rock crevices of the riverbeds to cool off on a sunny day. The magnanimous elephants are one of the main attractions of Corbett. The whole jungle belongs to them. They rightly hold their place as the preservers of the jungle. The elephants are usually seen eating all day long. It can be attributed to the low absorption of the food and its nutrients in the body. Nearly half of the food consumed is defecated as an indigested thing which forms food for other birds in the ecosystem. The elephants are a very intelligent species and possess similar characteristics of caregiving for their little ones. The mothers are often seen caressing and nudging the calves with their trunks, safeguarding and guiding the way. Truly, Elephants are a magnificent being.
deers are undoubtedly the commonest sighting in Jim Corbett, providing plentiful prey. There are four kinds of deers. Sambar deer Barking deer Spotted deer and hog deer inhabiting Jim Corbett. The Royal Bengal Tiger takes the center stage. As the territorial being moves through his kingdom, it stirs up a wave of loud and panicky alarming sounds by deers, langus, birds, etc., giving out distinguishable signs in the vicinity. This call of the wild not only drives an impulse through the jungle but also races up and resonates with the human race. Eager to catch a glimpse of this beast, tigers in Corbett are accustomed to this mindful stalking of humans on gypsies in this national park. They stay calm and walk by unless someone stops them or comes in their way breaching the rules. As a conservatory which saved the tiger project at its heart, the tiger attains prime focus for visitors coming to catch a glimpse of this majestic cat. Corbett Tiger Reserve has the highest density of population of tigers in the country at 20 by 100 square kilometers. The sun begins to set upon the horizon and the safari comes to an end for the day. My typical day after the safari culminates with feeding my favorite animal, the elephants at the forest rest house. 